we need to understand also that climate is changing uh, regardless of our uh, opinions, regardless of our actions. So we need to adapt ourselves and we need to uh, adjust uh, our approach to the whole issue, take into account that every passing day is against us. It is run the time is running against us and we understand that we act, we should act and we should act now. We're minutes to midnight in our efforts to limit the rise in global temperature to 1.5 degrees Celsius. And we are witnessing the consequences of inaction in real time. Extreme weather is devastating lives and livelihoods around the world, with those who contributed the least paying the highest price. But there is hope, and we are moving in the right direction. A stark warning, yet one with optimism that it's not too late. Pre-COP 29 in Baku was one of the last ministerial gatherings before the main conference in Azerbaijan. On many issues uh, regarding the negotiation, uh, negotiated outcomes, we have some already points of convergence. And that already once again proves the importance of it. Also, it creates a platform and avenue for the parties to get engaged bilaterally, multilaterally with each other, uh, consulting on several uh, issues regarding the climate action and driving uh, the negotiation process forward. Pre-COP 29 was held amidst calls that Baku must host an enabling COP and one with increased global alignment on climate ambition. Most people have to understand uh, that the urgency is there. We have few years, according to science, to be able to stabilize the increase of temperature. But at the same time, to stabilize in those few years, we need financial resources and we need international cooperation. So that is the main objective of this COP, is to make sure that we can have everybody together having the resources and then ambition. Scaling up development finance and overhauling debt architecture was high on the agenda across the board. I think it's uh, uh, the time to, uh, to run. Uh, we need to, to move more fast. Uh, and, uh, you know, it is very good time to, to invest today to save tomorrow. We, are, we need to uh, scale up the uh, climate finance. Climate finance is the main uh, challenge and main topic for COP29. And we consolidated, all of us, all the countries, to have the uh, agreement in Azerbaijan. The COP presidency's troika that was set up to build continuity and coherence between COP 28, 29 and 30 respectively was already visible in force as the UAE, Azerbaijan and Brazil came together to support mission 1.5 degrees Celsius and to build on existing presidency initiatives. In the previous years there have been some cases when one COP presidency handed over the presidency to another one who is losing all the progress uh, that has been made. So therefore, Troika's first importance is to ensure the continuity of the progress that is being made by one COP presidency that can be handed over to the next one. But at the same time, Troika, the current Troika has its own mandate to create an enabling environment for the parties to uh, prepare and submit their new nationally determined contributions, the more ambitious ones, uh, by February 2025. COP29 goals include a switch away from fossil fuels and expansion of clean energy, all solutions that could contribute to its legacy. Well, I believe that we can do the right thing, because the same way that uh, humans have spoiled uh, the climate by uh, uh, doing many things uh, that have a very strong and neg negative impact on climate. We also know that humans have created some solutions uh, for some of these challenges. So uh, I'm an optimist and I think we can definitely get together and have an international cooperation that will allow the world to use the good ideas and not only to concentrate uh, on insisting on ideas that we know don't work. And it's that unified international cooperation already taking place in Baku at events like Pre-COP, which is needed to solve the ongoing climate crisis as we move forwards to a better future. <laughs>